Hey everybody, Lynn Farmer 73 here. Everybody know me, you know, I joke around, I kid around a lot. But it's some stuff that I take real seriously. It's certain things you can't survive without. Food, water, shelter, fire. We got our tender here. Nice, make sure it's nice and dry. Put it in like a, a bird nest kind of way. Get you a normal old cotton ball. These is tiny too. But you can use your t-shirt, as long as it's cotton. You can use your cloth, that's why I keep on saying, make sure you got cotton in your pack. That's why I do the cotton rags instead of tissue paper and all that other stuff, because you can use the cotton rags for everything. Now I'm gonna take my wood ash, and this is what I do. I keep wood ash in my pack too. That's why I made that fire. Keep that with you. I'm gonna sprinkle that on like we season it. Try not to get the big pieces in there. Make sure it's the powdery stuff. Now you wanna roll that back up, which I know a lot of y'all already know how to do. Now I'm gonna hand roll it, just like I'm doing here. until I, I feel that it's not like all feathery no more. Now here's the key to this. Be patient. If you jump the gun, you ain't, you gonna basically waste your time and your energy because that's the most important part. You wanna conserve as much energy as possible. Okay, this ain't feeling all fluffy and cottony no more, so I'm gonna take another piece of wood and I'm just gonna Roll that, putting just slight pressure on it. What that does is create friction. Be patient. This ain't like striking a match, so get that out of your head right now. Fire. Now you had you some wood going. There you go. We did it. That'll help you get out of a sticky situation. This 
will concentrate your solar rays and start a fire for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works, okay? Piece of paper or cloth, cotton, preferably. Old dry grass, maybe some leaves, but you want it to be very, very fine because you want to put, pick this up and be able to blow on it. This is going to be your fire nest right here. It's like a bird nest. Make a bird nest because this is where your amber is going to go. As you can see, it's a little hole right there where the spring goes. You take the spring. And all you do is put that in, down in that hole. So we're gonna use the dark paper this time, okay? Slide it in between the coils and it'll hold it just like that. So now all we do is wait for the sun and you will see what happens from there, okay? It's that simple, family. See that? You get that light source right on that paper and you burn that to an amber. Focus your light. Make sure you focus it. I wish I could show you this. I think we got a good amber. Okay. Get your bird's nest. Put that in there and kind of cover it like this, just a little bit. There you have it, folks. Ah, that's burned. A little more fuel if you need it. fire it's that easy don't go nowhere without any kind of thing that you can't start a fire because you just never know now watch this more wood chips put a little grill over that and now you can get your cooking on Go get you small pieces of sticks, throw in here, weeds, dry leaves, make sure it's dry, you ready to cook. All right, I hope this helped you guys. Listen, if you stay ready, you don't gotta get ready. Hope this helped right. you. Lead Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.